Trick Williams versus Ilya Dragunov. Oh, man. I'm not going to let you review this. You're an idiot. Wow. This match was awesome. This what? match was maybe, maybe not as good as their last match. But, man, I don't know. They got going here. And first off, it's Trick and, and uh, Carmelo, or Ilya. And the last time they had a match, they beat the fuck out of each other. Mm-hmm. And uh, they started by beating the fuck out of each other. And uh, within one minute, Dragunov had a bloody nose, and Trick Williams was bleeding all over the place out of his mouth, like his teeth had been knocked out. Well, he got that in the first match, but still. It opened up again, and it only got more insane from there. We had German suplexes on the floor, DVDs on the apron. They're just pounding on each other. Ilya tried the H-bomb, and Trick just kicks him in the face with the toe of his fucking boot. He mm-hmm. toe-booted him in the face. He boot-toed him in the face. And then he hits Code Breaker, and Mel is outside. He's jumping up and down. He's all excited. And Trick hits the Harlem sidekick. Booker T, Flapjack. The crowd's going nuts. NXT and whoop that Trick chance. And so finally, they're outside, and Mel starts trash-talking Ilya. So Ilya shoves him. Mel throws a punch. Ilya ducks, shoves him into an ch- accidental chop block on Trick's leg. Mm-hmm. So they throw Trick into the ring. Ilya power bombs him, hits the H bomb, takes him to the corner, goes for the middle rope H bomb. Carmelo's on the outside; he can't do anything. He's just shaking his head in disappointment. And he comes off with this middle rope H bomb, and the crowd's like, "He's done." And they count one, they count two, they and then Trick kicks out, and they fucking went crazy for this. They're chanting, "Whoop that Trick!" And so then the referee. Gets in the ways. He's talking to, to Carmelo. And uh, he gets taken out as uh, Trick hits the jumping knee. Trick hits the jumping knee on Ilya. The, the, counts, the crowd counts along. They get all the way to 10. Second ref comes in. Ilya kicks out. Fans are chanting, Ref, you suck! So Ilya hits a jumping knee. Hits another H-bomb. He goes up top for the super H-bomb. But Trick gets the knees up. He tries the trick knee. He's in one corner. Ely's in this corner. He goes for the trick knee. And it's a it's a legitimate car crash. Even though there were no cars. It was right. a legitimate car crash. It is a trick knee into a torpedo. They are both killed on impact. And Ilya falls on top for the pin. Hmm. This match ruled. And then afterwards, Carmelo looks so sad... And he gets in the ring, and he says, You were so close, you almost had it. It's just always going to be the two of us. You're my boy, he says. And then he chop blocks him from behind. Mm-hmm. And he gets a chair, and he destroys his knee. And you can hear Trick on the mat. He's audibly screaming, One more time! Yeah. So he hits him a couple more times. And then Mello grabs a TMG shirt and drops it across Trick's chest. Trick Mello game. And the fans, half the fans, like the the shithead fans, actually, they're just the mad fans. They chant, fuck you, Mellow. Yeah, and then the, the pleasant ones with children are chanting, Mellow sucks. <laughs> and that's how the show ends. And so the big question is, why did he take the bullet for Trick? Why was he sad when Trick lost and then turned on him at the end? And I don't know what the explanation is going to be. Well, I can tell you. What's the explanation? Sincerely... He thought that Trick beating Ilya and winning the world title was the most important thing. At least after the tag match. Mo- 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 moving past that loss and getting Trick the title was the most important thing. And then Trick fucked it up. Well, yeah, because the, the argument could be that we had the chance to win the Dusty and the championship match. Mm-hmm. I told you to focus on the Dusty. You were too focused on the championship match. Yeah. And you know what? We lost the Dusty, but you could have won the title match. Yep. But you lost that too, and we lost everything. So yeah. fuck you. Exactly. But the only problem is mm-hmm. we're also supposed to believe that Trick has already attacked him. Uh, probably, yeah. So if that is... I, they, they may it's Redcon, possible that's not the case. I'm thinking they may just never mention that backstage attack ever again. Well, okay, I have a question then. There was a point in this match when both wrestlers were outside, and Mello helps Trick up, and he hugs him. And the ref counts seven. The ref counts eight. Mello is still hugging him. Trick wriggles free and dives into the ring at, like, almost nine. Was that on purpose, or was that them 
Not hearing the count. I presume. Well, they do that all the time. It's the uh, tease the count out and then jump in. They stole but, it from New Japan. Okay, but Mello was was holding him back from actually getting in the ring and almost he was trying to count him out. out. I don't know. We'll find I, out on uh, Tuesday. Okay. There's more to this story. I think so. So, uh, Brian is ignoring the first 10 minutes of the match, where essentially they bled a lot. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> All over the place. And uh, They bled in every match on this show, I think. Uh, so they may have. Ilya said, just sell for 10 minutes. I'll just kick your ass. And that's what happened. Uh, and then it did get... The longer it went, the better it got. That is yeah. true. That is true. That's wrestling. And mm-hmm. uh, it definitely, definitely picked up in the second half. And it was The finish, I don't think I've ever seen that finish, where two guys... Just each guy knew I'm going to hit you with my best shot. And at the same time, you are going to hit me with your best shot. And we'll just let the bodies fall where they may. And that's exactly what happened. And they did. And it was great. And, uh, and Ilya won. Uh, and I said, they, they, well, once they actually really, really started, this was really, really good. It took a while to get, get warmed up. But uh, yeah, Ilya's great. Trick is very over. I am wondering what they're going to do for Stand and Deliver now, which is kind of kind of my takeaway from the show. Usually, I, I can tell like what the big matches are. I know they're going to do Trick versus Mello, obviously. Mm-hmm. That'll be the big. That, that may, a long way to go, brother. That may be the main event. In fact, o- over Ilya. Now, do you do like Braun and Ilya, or could who do you who do you put in that spot? You could, uh, except I assume Braun and Baron will do something. They just want a tag match. Let's tag tournament together. Now they'll, they'll, they'll challenge the family. And maybe from there you, you get Braun versus Tony D, which sounds great. Because, frankly, Tony D should be doing... They're doing a lot with Tony D. They should be doing more. Yeah. He's awesome. But uh, you know what I really want to know on Tuesday? I want to hear what they have to say about Trick Mello in the barbershop. <laughs> That's true. Because we haven't seen the barbershop in a while. That's where these guys go. That's where their, their, their mutual friends are. And they're going to have to pick sides now. Whose barbershop is this? These glasses are bad. Just a minute, I have changed glasses. Let's all change something. <laughs> I need to change so many things. These are new ones too, but I can't see with them. <laughs> okay, here we go. He's going to change the, the red. The red hat pin, you had to get a strike. It was a bowling tournament. You gave away a picnic table. Of all the prices, a picnic table? <laughs> this is terrible today. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Corn buckle. Huh? What was it? <laughs> Brian. I, what? What was that? <laughs> Come on, Brian. What's going on? Keep, keep going. On a lonely, okay. lonesome highway. That's all I have for today. Okay, well. Are you sure? Excellent <laughs> job, Granny. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> I had a note down here for some stuff I was going to answer. Hello? <laughs> yes, he's all right over there. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.